Hello everybody, here we are at uh, game one of the 1965 World Series at Metropolitan Stadium. What happened in 1965? Well, you got the Watts Riots, a Northeast blackout from the U.S. to Canada. You got the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, it's completed. 1965 Voting Rights Act guaranteeing African Americans the right to vote. You have the Gemini Space Program, Palm Sunday Tornado Outbreak, 51 tornadoes on, on Palm Sunday, and the big movie in the theaters is Dr. Zhivago. <laughs> We're looking up uh, some of the stats for the ball players, and we'll get into the starting pitchers now just in a second. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to Combat Painters Winter Tabletop Baseball. We're using History Maker Baseball today. The game's going to be at Metropolitan Stadium in Minnesota. It's going to be the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Minnesota Twins. On the mound for the Dodgers is going to be Don Drysdale. In 1965, Don Drysdale was 23 and 12 with a 2.77 ERA. And he will be facing Mudcat Grant. Mudcat Grant in uh, 1965. Let's see. Mudcat Grant was 21 and 7 with a 330 ERA. So we're looking at two 20 game winners, two aces for their respective teams. Let's see if this turn, turns out to be a pitching duel. So leading off for the Dodgers is going to be Wills, Maury Wills. And uh, Maury Wills. Maury Wills batted 286, stole 94 bases. That's right, you heard that right. He stole 94 bases in 1965. So let's get started. We're going to pull cards. We're going to have the uh, fast action deck over here on the top right hand corner. And that's a 114. 114 in the pitcher column. It asked me if the pitcher is fresh, and he sure is, so that's a chopper to the shortstop. In comes Versailles over to first, one away. So next is going to be Gilliam. And uh, let's try to get it with this hand here. Here's the pitch to Gilliam, 466. Has me the pitcher is wild and Grant is a star flash and control, so he is not. Home run king or slugger? Nope. So it's a line drive base hit to left field. Gilliam on at first. And it's going to be Willie Davis. Now, Willie Davis. Batted 238 with 24 home runs, three triples, and 10 home runs. Here's the pitch to Davis, 155. Ask me if he's a home run king. No, absolutely not. Nothing under the pitcher column. So it's, he lists a fly ball to center field. Center fielder Hall over. He squeezes it two away now. It's be Ron Fairley. Now, Ron Fairley. Batted 274 with 28 doubles, a triple, and nine home runs. He's just a blank card. The the game mechanic will handle his averages and doubles and so forth. 1112. And it asked me if Mudcat Grant is a flash. And I look, and if, I don't know if you can see here, if you can see it, if I push it over a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing there, so that means he's not. A flash pitcher. So 
So one one two. So we'll go to the bot batter column. Is he a sad sack? No. So it's a check with scorer. So he's safe at first, and we go to the scorer micro chart. I'm gonna pull a number here, and that's gonna be a five. A five says that there's an error charge to the second baseman or the shortstop. And it depends, he's a lefty batter, so I'm gonna charge it to the second baseman. So it's an E4. And runners on first and second now. A ball that's booted by Kalichi. And actually, yeah, gotta be Kalichi because it's got the three vowels. I was gonna say Kilchi, but uh, not with the three vowels. They pro probably wouldn't pronounce it that way. So next is going to be Lou Johnson. Now, Lou Johnson batted 259 with 24 doubles, one triple, and 12 home runs. Here's Lou Johnson. Here's the pitch from Mudcat Grant. It's going to be a 3 5 6. 3 5 6. They asked me, are they the same side? This is the. Uh, lefty righty and they are from the same size so that's a strikeout Lou Johnson strikes out and that's the third out of the inning but the Dodgers leave two and at the end of half an inning of play no score and the Twins are coming to bat so we're gonna go Don Drysdale on the mound to Zoilo Versailles. Star shortstop for the Minnesota Twins. Zoilo uh, batted 273 with 45 doubles, 12 triples, and 19 home runs. <laughs> this is in 1965, by the way. So he's, he's uh, putting up numbers, today's numbers, in 1965. So pretty impressive power from this guy. 124 asked me if Drysdale is control, and he sure is. So that's a ground ball hit right at the shortstop. Wills releases on the run and two, uh, one away. Valdespino, Sandy Valdespino. Here's the pitch, 566. Six. Asked me if Drys Dry Drysdale's wild. He is not. Is Valdespino a good eye? He is not. So it's a strikeout and it takes us to the right now chart for the next batter. But Drysdale is hot. And it's going to be Tony Oliva. Now, Tony Oliva batted 321 with 40 doubles, 5 triples, and 16 home runs. And he's going to be off the right now chart. And that's going to be a 2-4. Ask me if the batter is hot. And the lever is not the hot batter. So that's a no. So it's otherwise it's a fly ball lifted to left. Left fielder Lou Johnson. He squeezes it. So three up, three down. We go to the top of the second. Dodgers. I'm going to cut Grant to Jim Lefevre, second baseman. It's 135. That's going to be an unusual play with a red one. A red one and a black five. I'm going to pull a card quickly for that. 4-6. Four, 4-6 six. Four, six asks me, is the catcher iron? Uh, bat is, it is iron. So foul tip, iron catcher loses it. So that's a strike to Lefever. Here's another pitch to Lefever. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. We're gonna bring that just over a little bit to try to get that other two, three, four. And that's gonna be ask me if there's a runner on base, and that's no. Hot batter, uh, no, and it's a pop up to the left side. Third baseman, Killebrew, 
one away. Wes Parker, one, two, two. Is the pitcher a workman? No. Champ or a whiffer? Well, no. Line drive caught by the third baseman, Killebrew. Two away now here in the top of the second inning. No score. In game one of the 1965 World Series, Roseboro, 116. Asked me if the pitcher's fresh. He sure is. Strike three. Second strikeout of the game for Mudcat Grant. And after an inning and a half, we go to the bottom of the second. No score. Leading off against Drysdale is going to be Harmon Killebrew. Now, Killebrew, I'm sure, had an outstanding season. Killebrew uh, batted 269, 16 home runs, one triple, and 25 home runs in only 400 at bats. Here's the pitch 126. Ask me if the pitcher's fresh. He is. So that ball is lined and caught by the second baseman, Lefevre. One down. Next is going to be Jimmy Hall, the center fielder. The pitch to Hall, 245. Ask me if he's a hero, and he is. That's a line drive base hit for Jimmy Hall. Don Mincher now. 356. Ask me if they're, he's the same as Drysdale, and it's no. So utility or sad sack, he's semi-utility. Decided that says he is, so it's a ground ball to the shortstop. Flips over to second baseman for the fielder's choice. Back to first, not in time. Two out and Mincher on at first. It's going to be Earl Batty. It's 166. Ask me if the pitcher's a workman. No, Whiffer is, he is not a Whiffer. So it's a ground ball to the third baseman. Over to second for the force out. And that's the third out. We go to the top of the third, no score. We're gonna start off in the experience chart. And it's going to be the pitcher, Drysdale, on the experience chart. Drysdale's numbers are there. Two, four, uh, we're going to do one, two on the experience chart. One, two, icon batter. Experience icon. So he is an icon batter. Draws on experience. Launches highlight reel blast to left field fence. Okay, so we're going to go to the fence chart. And he's going to be other. We're going to pull one number here, four on the other and that's going to be a triple Don Dry Drysdale gets into one launches it into the alley and goes into third base so Drysdale triples here in the top of the third of game one of the 65 World Series it's going to be Maury Wills 4-4-5 Is he a workman? No. Patient? No. It's a ground ball to first base. And that's going to be a... Drysdale's going to come in to score. It's an RBI ground out for Wills. one nothing. Dodgers. It's going to be Gilliam. 266. Around first throw not lead off batter, no. Fly ball right field. Two out now, and it's gonna be Willie Davis. Willie Davis flew out to center field in his last at bat. Here's the pitch, 236. Asked me if he's double control. He is single control, so it's a ground a ground out back to the pitcher. Mudcat feels his position. And after the triple. It's three up and three down, but a run scores, and it's one nothing Dodgers after two and a half. And we're going to get started in the bottom of the third inning.
Kalichi. 146. Asked me if he's flash, semi flash. Decided I says yes, so it's a strikeout. Unless Kalichi is a good eye, which he is not. So that's one away now. And it's going to be Mudcat Grant. Mudcat. 135. That's going to be an unusual result with a red one and a blue five. Red one. Oh, I'm sorry. Red one and a black three. There's no, they don't uh, look at the blue. So let's pull a card here. Two, six. Two, six, third baseman, iron. Let's look. Third baseman is iron. Yes, he is. Third baseman, iron, caught lounging, weakly hit ball, sneaks past for a base hit. So the pitcher, Mudcat Grant, gets an infield hit. The third baseman looked distracted on that one. And Mudcat's on it first, and now it's going to be Zolo Versail. And it's going to be 156 to Zolo Versail. And ask me if he's a whiff or no. Outfield drama. 3 4 on outfield drama. 3 4. Ask me if the left fielder is iron. Left fielder is not iron. Otherwise, it's a fly ball to Lou Johnson. Catches it on the run. Gets it back in quickly. So, two away now. Mudcat is on at first, and it's Val Despino. 165. I'm sorry, 166. Terrible eyesight. Ask me if he's a whiffer. No, he is not. So it's a ground out to the third baseman. And Killebrew, I'm sorry, third baseman is Gilliam. Over to second for the force out. That takes us to the experience chart. And after three innings of play, it's one nothing Dodgers. And Fairley's going to be off the experience chart. Here's the pitch from Grant to Fairley, 145. I'm sorry, the experience chart would be 3-4. Three, 3-4 four. Three, four is a prospect batter. Fairley is not a prospect. He's an icon. So that's a number up the first baseline. And it's a ball that the pitcher gets to, flips over to first. One away. Johnson. Four, four, six. Ask me if Mudcat's a star. He's a semi-star. The side of the says, no, sad sack utility or patient. Nope. That's a line drive base hit for Lou Johnson. So with one out, Lou Johnson's on at first. Second hit. The third hit allowed by Grant. Lefevre up now. Here's a pitch. And it's 355. 355. Ask me if he's a struggler. No, champion. No. So it's a ground ball to the second baseman who flips over to short, back to first, not in time. So fielder's choice for the second out, and Lefevre is on at first. Parker. Here's a pitch to Parker, 233. Ask me if he's an ace or a star. He's a semi-star, but the side of the die says no. Slugger. Is Parker a slugger? No, he is not. So it's a fly ball left at the center. Center fielder Hall squeezes it. And the Dodgers leave one runner on. Score none here. We go to the bottom of the fourth. one nothing Dodgers. So it's going to be Oliva, Tony Oliva, who flied out to the left in his first at bat against Drysdale, 4-4-5. Four, four, 
Ask me if Drysdale is a workman, and he is not. Patient. No, so it's a ground ball to the first baseman. Parker, unassisted. One out. It's going to be Killebrew. Killebrew lined out to the second baseman in his first at bat. It's 136. 136. Ask me if he's an ace. He is not an ace. Whiffer or cold? Neither. Uh, Killebrew is not cold. So it's infield drama. So infield drama, I'd say 5-6 on infield drama. It asks me, is the first baseman gold? And the first baseman, Wes Parker, is not gold. He's neutral or normal. Otherwise, ball sails over first baseman's head, batter safe on first on error. So wait a second. Hold on a second. Um... Okay, I see. All right, Hello Hillebrew's that's uh Killebrew's an an R a right a right hander, so that's gonna be an E six. E six on Wills, who throws it over the head of the first baseman, Parker. The ball is run down quickly, and uh Killebrew's on it first on an error by the shortstop. So Jimmy Hall now, 125. It's a struggler, no, patient, no. It's a ground ball to the third baseman, over to second, back to first, 5-4-3, double play. Dodgers are out of the inning, we go to the top of the fifth, one nothing Dodgers. It's going to be Roseboro against Grant Drysdale and then Wills. Here's the pitch, two, three, six. Double control, yes, yeah, single control. So that's a comebacker. Mudcat feels his position, one away. Drysdale now, three, four, five. Iron catcher, uh, yes, he is. Batty is iron catcher, so it's a ball four. So Drysdale is on for the second time. And it's going to be Maury Wills now. 2-3-6. Double control. No, he's single control. That's going to be hit to the pitcher. He turns around to second, back to first, not in time. So that's a fielder's choice. Out number two. Wills is on at first. And Wills is going to try to steal. And... Uh, we're going to see hit and run, extra base attempt. Going to roll 2d6. All right, so we he's a uh, he's active. So 3 to 9 to steal as an as an active runner. So 3 to 9, that's a 6. So he tries the, the steal now to be successful against a iron catcher. It's a three to nine. And that's a six. So he's that's a stolen base. On roll of two or twelve. Okay, so we're gonna roll again to see if there's an error on the catcher. And it's a four, so there's no. So that's uh Wills takes off and steals second. So Wills is on at second with two out, and it's Gilliam. Here's the pitch to Gilliam, 266. Run on first throw now. He's not on first leadoff batter. No, it's a fly ball lifted to right. Right fielder, Oliva, over, measures it, and that's a third out. So they leave one. The Dodgers leave one here in the top of the fifth inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth, one nothing Dodgers. We're going to shuffle our cards. Like to shuffle about every three innings approximately. I think I let it go a little bit longer, but it still works. There you go, that, that'll be enough. 
Okay. Um, here in the bottom of the fifth is going to be Mincher, Batty, and Kalichi. Here's the pitch from Mudcat, 124. Oh, uh, it should be. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah, picked up the wrong deck. Okay. 124. Asked me if Drysdale is control, and he is, so it's a ground ball hit at the shortstop Wills. Over to first, one away. Batty's next. Batty uh, fouled out, uh, actually hit into a force out in his first at bat. It's 123. Both flash and fresh. He is flash. Let's see if he's fresh. He's got a shutout going, so he is. So let's say strikeout. Actually, no, he's semi. Right now, he's semi. We're going to have to pull another card for the second one. And it says no, so let's say no to that. And the first one, 123. So he's not flashing fresh. Nothing under the batter. So it's a ground ball again to Wills. Handles it easily. Two away. And it's Frank Kilichi or Kilichi. It's 566. Ask me if he's wild. No. Is he a good eye? No. It's a strikeout. And we go to the right now chart for the top of the sixth inning. So three up, three down here in the bottom of the fifth. And that's going to be the third strikeout for Drysdale. It's going to be Willie Davis for the Dodgers in the top of the sixth inning. Davis is going to be off the right now chart. And Davis uh, is neutral, or normal, if you will. 3-5. Three, 3-5 five. Three, five off the right now. How bad or no? Otherwise, it's a fly ball lifted to left. Left fielder, Valdespino, measures it. One away. And you got Ron Fairley. Here's the pitch to Ron Fairley. And it's 5-5-6. Five, five, Ask me if he's an ace. No. Sad sack. No. And that's a ball that's hitting the alley. And that's going to roll to the wall. And Fairley's going to be on its second. With a double. So Fairley, with one out here in the top of the sixth, hits a double and he's on its second base. It's going to be Lou Johnson. It's the pitch to Lou Johnson, 135, with a blue one. So that's going to be a call with a runner on second. It's going to be an umpire call of some kind, 3-3. Three, 3-3, three. Three, three, a strict umpire third base. It's Ed Sudol. We're using the actual lineups and the actual umpires. And 3-3, three, three, strict. He is semi-strict. The side die says he is not strict. Other umpires rule throw, not in time, both safe. So 3-3. Three, three. Um, fielder's choice, runner is ruled out at third on rifle throw, but no, Ed Sudol calls him safe, so it's going to be a fielder's choice, and everybody's on, well, there's runners on the corners now, Johnson's on at first on the attempt to uh, tag out the uh, runner going to third fairly. And it's going to be Lefevre, runners first and third. Here's the pitch. So by now, it's the top of the six. We're going to call the infield uh, back. One, three, four. It asked me if there's a gold catcher, and the catcher is not gold. He's iron. Champion. Lefevre is not champion, so it's going to be outfield drama. Let's see what happens in the outfield. It's two, four. Is the center fielder gold? Is there center fielder gold? Let's look. No, he is not. If the ball slips through for a base hit single, RBI single, into score is fairly. To second is Johnson. Let me double check that. It was a two. Runners advance, one base on singles. So Johnson stops at second. And Lefevre hits an RBI single here, and the Dodgers are now up two to nothing. West Parker runners on first and second. Three, four, six to Parker. 
nothing under the pitcher, eager. He is not eager, so it's a base on balls, walk. So walk, and the bases are now loaded. And it's gonna be Roseboro, Johnny Roseboro, the catcher, with the bases loaded. Infield's gonna be in now. It's two, four, six. Ask me if the pitcher's control, and he is. So it's a ground ball back to the pitcher. So on a ground ball, with the infield in and the bases loaded, I'm gonna pull a card, say six. So that's gonna be a single and runners advance. On a six, runners are gonna advance. Runners advance two bases. So in comes Johnson. Around third is LaFay. He scores easily over to third is Parker. And it's a two-run single by uh, Roseboro. And it's 4 nothing now, Dodgers. And that's 1-2-3. So Grant is now a struggler, or I'm sorry, a semi-struggler, after allowing three consecutive batters to reach base without an out. Uh, actually, he would be a struggler now because the attempted fielder's choice uh, failed. So that would be four. Actually, he's allowed five batters. So he is a struggler now. And it looks like with the with only one, uh, actually one out, with only one out and the runners on first and third, the infield in against Drysdale. See what happens. We're going to leave him in. Here's the pitch to Drysdale. One, two, three. Both flash and fresh. Well, no, not at all. He is flash. Not fresh. He's semi-fresh. We could roll. And he is not. So it's a ground ball to the shortstop. Uh, that's hit right at Versailles and over to Kalichi, back to Mincher, and I didn't check the, the infield in, that's right. So I had the infield in on a ground ball, so we're going to have to pull with the base runners on first and, and third, runners on first and third. That's going to be a six, and that's a base hit. And Bunta uh, line now, let me see, with an asterisk. What does the asterisk mean there? Don't know what that means. Okay. This be a ground ball up the middle that goes through and into score is Parker over to third. Uh, one stopping at second um, we rolled a three we're going to advance two bases so over to third goes Roseboro and Drysdale gets an RBI single wow the um, that's one two three four the twins can't get out of this inning and it's going to be Wills and we're going to have a new pitcher for Mudcat Grant. Give me a uh, relief pitcher, Nelson. So Nelson's going to come in for Grant. He's going to pitch to Wills. Runners on first and third. Infield is still in. Tidying up a bit. All right, it's two thirty two three five. Ask me if Nelson's wild. He is not. He's an ace for this batter. Eager. Single through uh, shortstop. He's semi-eager. Decided die says he is. That's a hard hit ground ball. Unless he's a whiffer, he is not. Hard hit ground ball up the middle and through to center. 
And runners advance one base on singles. So that's a RBI single by Wills. And scores, uh, Roseboro scores Drysdale's to second. Infield back now. It's going to be Gilliam. Here's the pitch from Mel Nelson. 2-2-5. Two, two, Um, let me see. Let me double check something. Two three five. Cause oh, the infield was back. Okay, so it's two two five now. Star, and Mel, uh, Mel Nelson's not a star. So Slugger or Sad Sack, he's neither. So it's a single to center field, and runners advance one base. So stopping at third is going to be Drysdale. Bases are loaded again. So the Twins have. Basically sent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight batters uh, to the plate without an out. And now with runners uh, on uh, the bases loaded, um, it's going to be Willie Davis. Infield's back now. One, two, four. So it asked me if he's control, and he is not. Asked me if he's eager, and he is. So that's a pop-up. To the right side, and that's going to be Mincher calling for it for the second out. Two away, and it's going to be Ron Fairley with the bases loaded. One, two, two. Ask me if he's a workman. No. Champ or a whiffer? No. And that ball is lined and caught by Killebrew. And that's the third out of an inning that sees the Dodgers score five runs on one, two, three, four, five, six hits. And they now lead the game six to nothing going to the bottom of the six. Wow, that was the longest inning ever. And it's leading off. Let's see who it's going to be for The twins. So, if we have some sort of uh, okay. We're going to have Jerry Kendall or Annie Costco. Let me see if Ken, Kendall or Costco play in this World Series just to keep it as authentic as possible. Let me double check that. Uh, let's see the next game. Let's see who they bring up as pinch hitters. Kennedy, I know, but well, that's for the Dodgers. Nasik. Let me go to another game here. Uh, Rollins. Let me go to another game. I don't see anybody coming in to pinch shit for... And it sort of loses this one. Let's see if they bring a pinch hitter in this game. Nasik center field. Pinch hitter Rollins. Pinch hitter Valdespino. Starters are Nasik. Zimmerman is in there. Let's see in the game. In the final game. If they bring anybody. Uh, uh, Rich Rollins. So Rollins is one of their main pinch hitters. We can bring him in, see if we can find him. Rollins should be here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, here he is, Rich Rollins.
So Rollins is going to pinch hit for Nelson. Rollins for Nelson. Bottom of the sixth. Here's the pitch from Drysdale, and it's 355. Ask me if he's a struggler. No, champion. No, he is not. Ground ball to the second baseman. Lefevre over to first, one away. So Rollins grounds out, and it's going to be Versa Versailles, excuse me, Zoilo Versailles. One four six. Ask me if he's uh, actually is the pitcher flash, and the pitcher is flash. He's semi flash. The side die says yes. Ask me if the batter is a good eye, and he is not. So that's a strikeout. It's a fourth strikeout. One two three four. Second out here in the bottom of the sixth. That's gonna be Valdespino. Well, Despino is 0 for 2, struck out and hit into a force out. 1 for 6. Flash. He is not Flash. Champion. No, he's not champion, so it's a ground ball to Lefevre. He handles it. And that's a third up, three up, three down in the bottom of the sixth. And we're going to have a new pitcher for the Twins. New pitcher for the Twins. It's going to be Worthington. Let's see if we can track him down. Or Merritt. Merritt could. Worthington or Merritt. Let me see. I found Merritt. Let's see if I can find Worthington. Worthington actually pitches. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. He's a closer. So he's not. we're not going to bring him in. Uh, so that's going to be Merritt. Merritt has two T's, two R's. Okay, it's going to be Merritt to Johnson, Lou Johnson. Here's the pitch, 1-3-4. So the gold catcher, catcher's iron, champion, no, I'll feel drama. 2-5, center fielder iron, no. So that's a running grab of a looping liner, nice catch. Nice catch by the center fielder. So one away now in the top of the seventh. Score is six nothing Dodgers here in game one of the 1965 World Series. 126. 126 asked me if Merritt is fresh and he is. So that's a line out caught by the second baseman. Two away and West Parker. 126 again. And that's lined and caught again by Kalichi for the third out. So two line drives to end the inning, but right at the second baseman. And we go to the bottom of the seven, six nothing Dodgers. And it's gonna be Drysdale pitching to Oliva. Cards went flying, sliding across the room. Okay, it's going to be Oliva, Killebrew, and Hall. There's a pitch from Drysdale. 244. Ask me if he's an ace. He is not. Champion. He is a semi champion. Decided I says yes, and that ball's hit up the middle and through for a single. 
So Aliba is on it first. Killebrew. Here's a swing. 4-5-5. Five, five. Ask me if he's flash. The side of die says no. Ask me if he's a home run king, and he is. And that ball swung on and lifted deep to center field. Back goes the center fielder, Willie Davis, to the track, to the fence. He looks up, and that's gone. Two-run home run, Harmon Killebrew. Oliva scores. Killebrew comes around, and it's 6-2 to two now with that Killebrew two-run shot. It's going to be Hall, 145. Is he a struggler? No, ground ball to the right side. And that's going to be uh, Wes Parker handles it himself. One away. Don Mincher, the pitch 256. Is he a struggler? Pitcher is a struggler? No. Champion or patient? No. It's infield drama. Say 2 6 on infield drama. Second baseman gold. Uh, second baseman semi gold. Decided that says no. So that's a solid single to center. Right by the outstretched uh, glove of the second baseman with fever. So that's the third hit in the inning by the Twins. It's going to be Earl Batty. 3 5 6 to Batty. Batty swings. And misses. Strike three. Two outs now. Fifth strikeout by Drysdale. It's going to be Kalichi, Frank Kalichi, second baseman. That's a 1-1-3. One, 1-1-3, one, three. One, one, three. ask me if he's an ace. He is not an ace. A slugger. He is not a slugger. And it's a single to center unless he's a sad sack. He is not a sad sack. So that's a single to center. And runner advances uh, to second base. First and second. And now it's Merritt, and we're going to have a pinch hitter. We're going to have a pinch hitter for the Twins. And uh, who did they pinch hit? Rollins, we already... Uh, Nasek. Nasek's going to pinch hit. Because he played in a couple of games, so we know for sure that he's... So Nasik is, is ready to bat here. Um, what did I do with the... Okay. It's going to be Nasik against Drysdale. In the bottom of the seventh... So the tying run is on deck in Ver Versailles. Um, there's runners on first and second with two away here, and it's going to be the pinch hitter Nasik against Drysdale. 2 5 6. 2 5 6. And ask me if he's a struggler. No, he's not. Champion or patient? No. So it's infield drama. So let's see what happens in the infield. 4-4, four, four, infield drama. 4-4 four, four is the pitcher gold. Drysdale is semi-iron. So that's a no. Pitcher mishandles ball. Batter safe on first on a Drysdale error. Base is loaded now. That's a second error for the Dodgers in this game. The bases are loaded, so the... Tying run now is at the plate in Versailles. One of the best hitters on the Twins. And Drysdale is still going to be in the game. Here's the pitch. 1-5-5. Five, five. 
If there's nothing under the pitcher column, which is not good. Ask me if he's a home run king, and he is not. So the Dodgers are lucky about that, because if he were, that would be gone. And that ball is lifted deep to center field. Back goes the center fielder, Willie Davis, to the track, to the fence, and makes the running catch. And that's the third out. But Willie Davis saves the day. And the Twins score two, leave three, and at the end of seven, it's going to be six to two Dodgers. And pitching now for the Twins is going to be Worthington, Al Worthington, their closer. Top of the eighth. Al Worthington against Roseboro. <clears throat> Roseboro is one for three. Hit a two-run single in the sixth inning. <clears throat> 144. Excuse me. Ask me if Worthington's flash. He's semi-flash. The side that says yes. So it's a swing and a miss or a check swing. Let's see what the umpire says. Umpire is questionable or lenient at home. He's questionable. Umpire calls ball four. So he didn't go around, according to the umpire, and that's ball four. So Roseboro is on with a walk. And it's going to be Drysdale now. Drysdale is going to square away and attempt a bunt. And that's a two. Active runner, safe at first. Drysdale is not active. He's stoic. Uh, others, other, other batters out at first runners advance. So that's a successful sacrifice by Drysdale. One away. Roseboro to second. And we're going to have Maury Wills. Here's the pitch from Worthington to Wills. 2-2-5. Two, two, Ask me if Worthington's a star, and that's a no. Slugger or sad sack. That's a no. And a 2 2 5 is a single to center field. Runners advance one base. So, oh, but Roseboro was at second. So he's going to stop at third. Roseboro stops at third. And Wills is on at first. And he's always a threat to steal. Throwing over is Worthington. And Wills gets back in safely. Worthington sets and deals, and there goes Wills, the throw from the catcher, and he's safe under the tag, his second stolen base of the game. He stole 94 bases in 1965. Haven't played with a guy with that many steals in a very, very long time. Jim Gilliam is up now with runners on second and third for the Dodgers, who are up 6-2 to two here in the top of the eighth inning. It's Al Worthington, the closer for the Twins, who's been called on to pitch here in the top of the eighth inning. And here's the pitch to Gilliam. Swung on. They asked me if Worthington's an ace, and he sure is, so that's lifted to center field. And that's going to be deep enough to get a run in. Uh, Roseboro is tagging. Here's the throw, and he's safe. Not nearly in time, so it's a sacrifice fly. And that's... 7-2 to two now. Dodgers. And it's going to be Willie Davis with Wills on its second. Here's the pitch to Davis. 4-5-6. It's patient. Uh, nothing for the pitcher's column. 4-5-6. Ask me if the batter's patient. That's a no, so it's a fly ball center field. Tracking it is Hall. And that's a third out. The Dodgers pick up one run on a walk and a, a, a single and a sacrifice fly. And after seven and a half, they lead it seven to two. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's going to be Valdespino, Oliva, and Killebrew. All facing Drysdale.
Okay. And it's going to be uh, Val Despino from Drysdale. We're actually going to, uh, this is the last two innings, so we're going to quickly shuffle here. Do the quick shuffle. I use my croupier talents from Atlantic City. Did amazing work over there dealing blackjack, as you can see. They used to call me the hands of gold. Or les mains d'or in French, as I was known. Uh, and you can see my ability to shuffle is just impressive beyond belief. Uh, there you go. All right. Amazing. Amazing work. Um, and it's going to be Val Despino. Where is he? Here he is against Drysdale. Drysdale still pitching for the Dodgers here in the bottom of the eighth. See if he can go all the way. It's going to be a 1 3 4. 1 3 4. Ask me if uh, the catcher is gold. And the catcher is iron. So that's a no. Champion. He's not a champion. Outfield drama. See what happens in the outfield. We're going to pull another card. 6-6 six, six in outfield drama. Right fielder iron. Uh, I don't know. Let's take a look. Good morning. Le Rump Le Rouge. Yeah. <laughs> don't do that. All right. Uh, is the right fielder iron? <laughs> um, uh, yes. The yeah, right fielder's iron. That's uh, fairly out there and he misplays the ball and it drops in for a double so Val Despino is uh, into second base with a leadoff double off a misplayed ball that should go for an error but uh, according to the scorer it's going to be uh, scored as a double and it's Tony Oliva <laughs> no problem man 3-3-3 uh, <laughs> three, three, three. all right uh, Tony Oliva at the plate. Now Oliva had a tremendous season um, in in 65. I mean, uh, Oliva, let's take a look quickly at uh, what Oliva did um, in 65. Oliva batted 321 with 40 doubles, 5 triples, and 16 home runs, so pretty good hitter. And uh, what we roll, a 3-3-3. And that asks, it skips the pitcher's column. It goes to Utility or Sad Sack, and he's neither. So that's a, ask me if he's a home run king, and he is not. So that's a ball that's hit deep into the alley, and that's going to bounce around out there. And around second goes Oliva in to score is Valdespino, and Oliva's in with a stand-up triple. So the score now is 7-3, to three, Dodgers. And nobody out, and Oliva's on at third. Killebrew. 2-2-3. Two, two, um, ask me if Drysdale's wild, and he is not. Slugger or utility, he is not. That's a line drive base hit. RBI. For Killebrew, Oliva comes in to score. And that's going to be it for Drysdale. So Drysdale's getting pulled. Too much excitement for Walter Alston. Had to take his heart medication with Drysdale in the last couple of innings. Just kind of has not had it. And... Uh, in a game like this, now it's 7-4. to four. We're going to bring in the closer, Ron Peronowski. So Ron Peronowski is going to come in to replace um, Drysdale. And Peronowski is going to be a double ace, flash, semi-flash, semi-control, coming into the bottom of the eighth inning with a runner on first. The score now is seven to four and it's the center fielder hall jimmy hall how did jimmy hall do well jimmy hall batted 285 25 doubles four triples and 20 home runs so he's no slouch at the plate here's the pitch from worthington i'm sorry from paranowski 355 
and ask me if he's a struggler. The pitcher is not a struggler. Is the batter a champion? He is not, so that's a ground ball to the second base unless he's a whiffer, and he is not. And that's going to be a ball that's flipped to the shortstop, back to first, not in time, so it's a fielder's choice. And that's the first out. Hall is on at first now. Don Mincher. Here's the pitch from Paranowski. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Ask me if he's a sad sack. He's not a sad sack. And that's a, ask me if he's a home run king. He's a semi home run king. And the decided die says no. So that's going to be a double in the alley. And into second is going to be Mincher. And that was a two. Runners, uh, two bases on doubles. Active runner would score from first. Hall is not active. So Hall is going to stop at third. And it's going to be second and third now. Second and third. And uh, with second and third, that that's the tying run is at the plate in Batty. Earl Batty. What did Earl Batty do in 1965? What kind of batter was he? Um, he batted 297 with 22 doubles, two triples, and six home runs. My goodness. What an offense this uh, Minnesota Twins team has. Really impressive. Okay, so Batty's up. Two T's. Did I write him in with two T's? I sure did. I'm a great speller. Okay, here's the pitch from Paranowski. 2-2-5 two, two, now. 2-2-5. Two, two, he asked me if he's a star, and he is not. Slugger or sad sack? Neither. That's a single to center. And active is going to steal. He's not active. One run will score. And if Mincher's active, he scores as well, and he is not. So it's... Seven to five now. And that's an RBI single by Batty. To third goes Mincher. And with one out. Actually, yeah, there's one out on the fielder's choice. So it's runners on the corners and Kalichi, the second baseman. What did Frank Kalichi do in 65? Kalichi, uh, where is he? Oh, he batted uh, 208 with five doubles, one triple, and zero home runs. But he only had 149 at bats. So I guess he wasn't their regular second baseman. Jerry Kendall had most of the at bats that season. He batted 196, so I can see why they replaced him with another guy. So I guess that's why Kalichi is, is in there because. Uh, Kendall, who was your regular second baseman, wasn't hitting very much. Kind of do a little detective work, right? Um, all right, so Kalichi with runners on first and third with one out. It's Paranowski. Here's the pitch from Paranowski. 124. Uh, they asked me if Paranowski's control. He's semi-controlled. The side of die says he is, so that's a hard-hit ground ball at Wills. He flips to the fever back to first, and that's a 6-4-3 double play. And that gets the Dodgers out of any more trouble. But the Dodgers score three runs on one, two, three, four, five hits. And now the score is 7-5. to five. I'm sorry, the Twins score three runs on five hits and the score now is Dodgers seven twins five here in the top of the ninth inning crazy crazy game let's see what happens in the ninth in the bottom of the ninth but right now the twins are gonna have to hold they're gonna have to hold the Dodgers and Worthington their closer is still in there 
so let's see what happens. Here's the pitch from Worthington to Fairley. Fairley is uh, one for four on the day. He doubled and scored a run in the sixth inning. It's a 5-6-6. Six, six. A 5-6-6. Six, six. Ask me if Worthington is wild. No, he is not. Is fairly a good. I know he's not, so it's a swing and a miss, strike three. And we go to the right now chart with a hot pitcher. And it's going to be Lou Johnson on the right now chart. 1-2-5. Um, we don't read that one. We read the 1-1. One, one. Is it a cold pitcher? No. So it's a, fl uh, a fly ball to shallow right. Running in is Oliva. And he's got it for the second out. Two away now here in the top of the ninth in a 7-2-5 game. Dodgers up. And it's going to be Lefevre, who's one for four. He singled and scored a run, drove in a run. Lefevre. Here's the pitch. And it's 2-3-6. Two, 2-3-6. Three, six. Two, three, six. And it asked me if he's control. He is not. Pitcher batting, no, he is not. Let's say walk. Ball four to a Lefevre with two outs here. It's going to be Wes Parker. This is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth, ninth batter that uh, Worthington is pitching to. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Iron catcher. Uh, he is an iron catcher. So it's a walk. Ball four. First and second now with two outs, and is Roseboro. Roseboro's one for three. Hit a two-run single in that crazy sixth inning where the Dodgers scored five runs on six hits. So first and second with two outs. Here's the pitch from Worthington, 4-6-6. Six, six. Asks if he is wild. Then it asked me if Worth, uh, Roseboro is home run king or a slugger. He's neither. And that's a line drive base hit. And around to score comes Lefevre. RBI single. For Roseboro, it's his third RBI of the day, and going to third is Wes Parker. So not even the closer for the Twins can manage to slow down the offense of the Dodgers. And with two out, we're going to see a pinch hitter for Paranowski here in the top of the ninth. The score now is uh, eight to five. And let's see who pinch hit for these guys in 65. Who is their typical pinch hitter? Um, get to know these names a little bit better. So Willie Crawford did a lot of pinch hitting. So Willie Crawford is coming into pinch hit. Here's Crawford. Actually, yeah, he pinch hit for Paranowski. In top of the ninth. This this uh, series went to seven games, by the way, in 1969. Uh, let's tidy this up a little bit. Getting OCD. All right, here's the pitch from Worthington. And it's 1-4-6. One, 1-4-6. Four, six. One, four, six. Ask me if uh, he, the pitcher is a flash, and he is. And unless he's a good eye, which he is not, that's a swing and a miss, strike three, end of the inning. Okay. And um, so the Dodgers score one run on two walks and one hit. And it's now eight, eight to five here in the bottom of the ninth inning. We're going to see a new pitcher for the Dodgers, and uh, it's going to be Howie Reed can come in. Let's see if we can find him. The cars are kind of stuck together, so I'm having some issues. Trzuski's Torborg. Let's see if Brewer pitched. Brewer, yeah, Brewer's gonna. Jim Brewer's gonna come in. He's a lefty. Let's see. Uh, it's gonna be a pinch hitter for the pitcher spot for Worthington. 
And then it's going to be Versa Versailles. Um, let's see what Versailles is. Versailles. Versailles was a righty and then a, a left to lefty. So we're going to bring in the lefty Brewer. So Brewer. And he's going to come in. He's going to face a pinch hitter, a righty, and then two lefties. Uh, we'll see what happens there. So right now, uh, Crawford Moon, Wally Moon is going to pinch hit. Moon pinch hit in these games. Uh, hold on a second. That's okay. No, 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 no. Wally Moon is on the Dodgers. All right. Let's go. Let's take a look at the Twins now. Luckily, I'm going slow here because there's a lot of moves having to make. Um, so we've had a couple of pinch hitters. Rollins and Nasek have both both pinch hit for the Twins. What other pinch hitters did they use in this series? Uh, let's see. In game three. Or, you know what? We're going to bring in Zimmerman, who, who also... Rollins, Valdespino. We already used... Rollins. So we're going to bring in the catcher, Zimmerman. And Zimmerman played for sure, so he makes sense that he would come in. Zim for Worthington. Bottom of the ninth. And uh, let's see now. It's going to be Jim Brewer against... Jerry Zimmerman. Here's the pitch from Brewer. A lot going there. A lot of movement. Uh, 346. 346. Uh, nothing on the pitcher column. It's asked me if the batter is eager. He's semi-eager. Decided that he says no, so it's ball four. So, the pinch hitter, Zimmerman, walks, and he's on at first. And it's going to be uh, Versailles, the shortstop. Here's the pitch, 155. Ask me if he's a, uh, nothing on the pitcher column, and ask me if he's a home run king. He is not. It's a fly ball lifted to center. Under it is Davis, one away. It's 8 to 5 Dodgers here in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's going to be Valdespino, who's one for four on the day. He doubled. Four, five, six. Uh, is he patient? No, he is not. So it's a fly ball lifted to center again. Davis, a few steps over to his right. And that's two away. And now it's going to be Tony Oliva. Two outs here in the bottom of the ninth. It's Brewer pitching to Tony Oliva. Lefty versus lefty. Worked out. The way we planned it pretty much and here goes here's the pitch swung on three five six it asked me are they the same and they are and that's a strike three so bringing in the left he really paid off makes me look uh, makes uh walter i think it was all uh, austin was the manager for the dodgers i believe so it makes him look awfully good bringing in the lefty planning on uh, facing Valdespino and Oliva in the bottom of the ninth. And that's the ball game. The win goes to Drysdale. The save is going to go to Brewer. The hold is going to go to Paranowski. And uh, the loss goes to Mudcat Grant. And game one of the 65 World Series goes to the Dodgers by a score of 8-5. to five. In the original series it goes to game seven it's an outstanding series where the Dodgers lose the first two in Minnesota come back win two out of three in Los Angeles and then uh, uh, would win I guess the last two um, back in in Minnesota to take the series four to three uh, so that's a, it's 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 an actual great great series, and I can see from just playing in this game that the hitters, the Minnesota hitters, 
are are really really talented and they're going to give the Dodger pitching a run for their money for sure. Um, now I don't think from what I've seen that the Dodger hitting is as good as the Twins hitting. Um, but the Dodgers may have the edge on the pitching side. But that uh, remains to be seen. And uh, that's all for Game 1 of the 65 World Series. After work tonight, uh, I may or may not play another game. I have a varsity baseball game to go to. So I will be back a little bit late. But I have a feeling that I'll have enough time to play another game uh, tonight. And it should go a little bit faster than this one. This one was a an hour and 16 going on 17 minutes. Um, just because of all the pitching changes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pitchers. One, two, three, four, four pinch hitters. Uh, lots of back and forth. Um, I haven't played this in a week or two, and it kind of slow when you start. I had some issues earlier on in the game with the infield in, infield back. Um, I have to get that, learn that a little bit better. Um, and that's it. So I, I'm signing off. Combat Painters Winter Tabletop Baseball 60s, 70s World Series channel, what it seems to be. Says uh, adios and talk to you later.